Entrepreneurs, listen up. I don't care what industry you're in, what service you're providing, what product you're selling. Corporations go out of business for three very basic reasons. Number one, lack of capital. You need money. Number two, who is my target consumer? And number three, how the hell do I market and promote effectively to reach this target consumer? business. I don't care what your business is. You have to identify who's my target consumer and how do I effectively market and promote to this target consumer because if you do not, every day that you're in business, you will lose money and be out of business. Quick example for y'all. T-Mobile, Verizon. Both mobile service providers, correct? But both of those corporations have identified that we have vastly different consumer bases. Let's say T-Mobile, for instance. T-Mobile, when you watch one of their commercials, what are they pushing on you? We are the uncarrier. There are no surprises with us. Get down with us and there are no contracts. When you get your bill, there are gonna be no hidden fees. There's gonna be no hidden taxes. Your bill is your bill. And on top of that, you get unlimited data because that's what their consumer base cares about. But when you look at a Verizon commercial, it's radically different because their consumer base cares about something completely different than a T-Mobile consumer. The Verizon co commercials, for instance, they focus on what? Number one in reliability. I do not care. We are the number one service when it comes to reliability and coverage. So you can be in Burgor, North Carolina, you pick up the phone and you're going to have four bars and you're going to be able to get a call out. Why? Have, haven't you guys ever seen those commercials where, you know, that Verizon guy is going town to town, rural city to rural city, and he's picking up the phone and he's like, can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Right. Yes. Think about it because that, and, and they charge more for that because they feel as though we are number one in reliability and connection. I mean, in, in coverage. And also we have the best customer service in the game. When you call us, I don't care if it's 24 hours a day, you're going to speak to a representative, not an automated service. And they bill you more for that. But think about it on terms that me and you can really understand, right? Tyler Perry. Tyler Perry, everybody look is, looks at him, which he should be looked at, as this, as this business mogul. This guy, he has done something that was so phenomenal, and I'm super proud of Tyler Perry. But when he went to Hollywood, they gave him a sweetheart deal because they didn't understand that Tyler Perry came in with a core audience that would follow him anywhere. They didn't understand that Tyler Perry was putting on plays and he was traveling the Chitlin circuit for years and years and years and years, building up this core consumer base in places like Alabama, Mississippi, you know, South Carolina, so forth and so on. And, you know, once his plays really started to pop, Tyler Perry was putting out DVDs and he became a multi-million a multi-millionaire on putting out DVDs and every DVD that he was putting out from his plays they would sell millions and millions of copies because he had built up a brand loyalty with this consumer base so when he finally went to Hollywood they didn't understand who Tyler Perry was and they gave him rights to all kinds of things and Tyler Perry took it straight to the bank. Now he just opened up uh, his studio in Atlanta that's bigger than any studio in Hollywood. But he knew his consumer base and he knew how to market and promote to them. Same thing with Cardi B. Cardi B is unapologetic about being Cardi B. Cardi B <laughs> understands I speak broken English. I was on the pole for years, but when she gets on social media or when she makes records, she is making it for a very specific consumer. Either people who identify with her or people who are living the same life 
as her. She doesn't dumb down her, her speech. She's not speaking the Queen's English. She's not making records that sound like a Flo Rida record. She's making records that sound like a Cardi B record. And because of that, she now has this core following that will follow her anywhere, but the masses have now jumped on. They like, yo, we might not necessarily identify with your life day to day. We didn't come from the same hood as you, but we love the fact that you are so authentic about exactly who you are. Know your consumer base. I think of my good friends over at Shea Moisture. And I remember when these guys were selling black soap and they were selling these skincare products and hair care products. And they, they had this shop on 125th Street in Harlem. They didn't put a shop on 96th Street in Broadway. They had this shop on 125th Street in, in, um, in Harlem for a very specific reason. Because people who were using the black soap and the Shea Moisture at that time, you know, they were black people. And they catered to their target consumer base. And after that, they began to grow because there are Harlem USAs all over America. And when their product finally went out to the masses and it, it went mass market and you can go to Target and pick it up and go to these different convenience stores and pick it up. Companies, the large corporations didn't understand how they infiltrated the market so effectively. They knew who the hell they were selling to. They didn't dumb it down. They understood that, you know, a lot of the females were going natural. What do you put in your hair? Shea Moisture. They understood that so many black people, you know, our skin preserves well. You've all heard that the black don't crack. So we're always putting lotion on, whether it is cocoa butter, but now shea butter. They understood that. And because of that, that company has sold for over a billion dollars. Know your consumer. So for any of you out there who are in business or thinking about going into business, before you lose so much money because you're worried, you, you don't understand why is nobody buying my product? No, why is nobody buying into my service? You have to identify, number one, who's my target consumer? And number two, how do I effectively promote and market to this target consumer? It doesn't have to be, you know, a lot of money poured into that. I come from the music industry and, you know, hip hop, they didn't give us, a, you know, back in the, in, in the early 90s, mid 90s, they didn't give huge um, budgets to, to, to hip hop artists because they just, uh, that, that's just some music that was started in the Bronx. That's some inner city music, but they didn't understand that that music was speaking to youth of, uh, across America. It was speaking to hoods, uh, not just across America, but across the world. And when we went out to market and promote, we went into the hood to our target consumer where they lived, worked, and played. We killed the barbershops. We killed the clubs. We killed the strip club because we understood that's where the people who are listening to this music, where they're at. But guess what? There's hoods all around the world. There's barbershops all around the world. There's clubs all around the world. It didn't matter if this music wasn't on mainstream radio. What it mattered is that we went directly to our consumer base. So if you're in business, stop waiting for people to discover your wonderful product. Stop waiting for people to discover your wonderful service and identify who am I going after and how do I effectively reach them. Hope you learned something here. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.